hey guys what's up this is the part 2 of csat paper 2 of 2012 and it will solve in 90 minutes or less very easily by you guys and you just need common sense plus explanation and there is no need of formulas so this is equals to 90 minutes if you apply a lot of formulas i'll solve one or two questions using the formula so you'll know how to use that formulas but they are not at all required the only purpose of making these videos is that it should reach the last person the last while connectivity should be provided and this is the facebook page facebook.com slash official those of you cannot afford coaching if you are seeing this i have made it for you spread the message as much as you can and please comment in the section below on the youtube as well as on the facebook and hit the thumbs up because this is the only way i know that i am doing the right job anyway we start either a and b are of same age okay so a is equals to this okay or a is older than b okay this is the first statement second statement is either c and d are of same age or d is older than c okay and it is known that b is older than c so we can easily say that since a is equal to b is equals to c so a is definitely older than c this is the only conclusion that can be made a is older than b no he can be equal b and d are of same age absolutely no idea d is older than c no this is also not true a is older than c this is this is the right answer so moving forward again a syllogism only those who have a pair of binoculars can become the member of the bird watchers club so just see here so if you have binoculars then only you can become member of bird watcher club okay some members of the bird watcher clubs have cameras okay so some might have cameras so you can do something like this so this is camera and those members who have camera can take part in photo contest so entirely inside it the camera will be photo contest now you can see all those who have a pair of binoculars are members of bird watcher club no this area is excluded so this is wrong all members of the bird watcher club have binoculars obviously yes because it is inside the circle so answer is b all those who take part in photo contest are member of bird watcher club again no this part does not take part in photo contest yet it is not a member so answer is this part take part in photo contest but it is not a member so answer is b during the summer vacation ankit went to a summer camp where he took part in hiking swimming and boating okay this summer he is looking forward to a music camp he is looking forward to a music camp where he hopes to sing dance and learn to play for conclusion ankit parents parents word is not mentioned at all so this is absolutely wrong ankit prefers music to outdoor activities no he did outdoor activities now he is doing music so this cannot be true at all ankit goes to some type of camp every summer since only two summers are given so you cannot comment on every summer so this is absolutely wrong ankit likes to sing and dance obviously since he is looking forward where he can sing and dance so answer is d so this is the question three persons a b and c are wear shirts of black blue and orange colors not necessarily in that order and pants of green yellow and orange not necessarily in that order no person wore shirt and pant of the same color further it is given that this 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 so let's assume these are a b and c this is the shirt and this is the pants is that understood so now we will see how does it go so a does not wear shirt of black color okay since b is wearing pants of orange color so first of all you write this now since b is wearing pants of orange color he cannot wear shirt of orange color so since b cannot wear orange since c cannot wear orange so a is wearing orange very very easy and now b cannot wear blue b cannot wear orange so b is wearing black the only color which is left and c is wearing blue and then come it comes to pants then pant are of green yellow and orange color so a cannot wear orange obviously a cannot wear orange because he is already wearing shirt which is orange and a is not wearing green also so a is wearing yellow and the only color which is left is green so c is wearing pants of green color and shirts of blue color so answer is b 10 new tv shows started in january 5 sitcoms 3 dramas 2 news magazines only 7 of them are continuing okay 5 of them are already sitcoms so all five are continuing five out of these minus three have occurred so what are the conditions which can be followed either two news magazines are continuing either two dramas are continuing or one drama plus one news is continuing 
is that understood only these conditions can follow because all five sitcoms are continuing so only one news magazine is still going on no it cannot be said because two might be continuing only one of the drama is continuing no two of the drama might be continuing at least one discontinued show of the drama absolutely yes even in the best case scenario at least one is drama is gone so c is the answer four men are waiting at delhi airport two are doctors two are businessmen so just do like this doctor doctor businessman businessman two speak gujarati and two speak tamil no two of the same profession speak the same language two are muslims two are christians no two of the same religion or the same profession no two they speak same language tamil speaking doctor is christian okay since the tamil speaking doctor is a christian so you can write tamil here and you can write christian here absolutely understood now no two of the same profession speak the same language so here will come gujarati here will come tamil and here will come gujarati because doctors have to speak different businessman has to speak different now no two of the same religion are of the same profession so christian cannot come here because they cannot be of the same religion nor they speak same language so christian here cannot come here also so christian has to come here then muslim will come here and muslim will come here so the christian businessman speaks gujarati so the christian businessman speaks gujarati so first is correct gujarati speaking doctor is a muslim gujarati speaking doctor is a muslim so both are correct so answer is c though quite expensive television is not a luxury item as one can learn many things through television which one of the following is valid all expensive all see these sweeping statements cannot be made at all so all essential things for learning are not luxury this is wrong television is essential for learning it is also not correct television may aid in learning but not essential for it television is not a luxury item straight away you can see television is not a luxury item so answer is d without a doubt mr kumar drive to works at an average speed of 48 km per hour okay it is per hour the time taken to cover the first 60% distance is 10 minutes more than the time taken to cover the remaining distance how far is the office i can do it with logic in uh, half a minute but with formula we will try first so you know that formulas are not a good thing so let's assume the total distance is 10x so the first distance is 6x the next distance is 4x let's assume the time taken for the rest of the journey is t hours so the time taken for the first journey is t plus 10 divided by 60 hours that is equal to t plus 1 by 6 so the 10x that is 6x will be covered in distance is equals to velocity into time that it is t plus 1 by 6 and here it will come 48 t so from second equation we can derive x is equals to 12 t and finally putting it in the first equation here we will get 72 uh, 72 t is equals to 48 t plus 8 so that will be equals to 24 t is equals to 8 so t will be equals to 1 by 3 hours this is absolutely clear since we know the t is equals to 1 by 3 hours so putting it here so 4x is equals to 48 into 1 by 3 that is equals to 16 so x is equals to 4 so 10x will be equals to 40 so answer is 40 kilometers and what will be the total time taken in this case since time will be total time will be equals to t plus t plus 1 by 6 so that will be equals to 2t plus 1 by 6 now the value of t is 1 by 3 so it will be equals to 2 by 3 plus 1 by 6 that will be equals to 5 by 6 of an hour that is 50 minutes will be taken to cover 40 kilometers so this is the long approach it will take you about 2 minutes now see this approach 30 km is there so 18 km plus 12 km now what time it will take to cover uh, 12 km it will be approximately it is exactly 15 minutes so this time has to be 25 minutes now just assume in 25 minutes it will be how much distance it will cover is that understood so it will be 5 by 12 or 48 so it will be 20 km so this cannot be the answer now come for 40 km divided into two parts 24 plus 16 so covering uh, 16 will take about 1/3 of an hour that is equal to 20 minutes and 24 will be covered exactly in half an hour so this will be the answer that is 30 minutes plus 20 minutes so 40 km is the answer you can do it very very rapidly and this is the best approach now comes geeta is prettier than sita but not as pretty as rita so rita is the most pretty then comes geeta then comes sita so sita is not as pretty as geeta so this is the answer absolutely correct sita is prettier than geeta no 
Rita is not as pretty as Geeta. This is also wrong. Geeta is prettier than Rita. This is also wrong. So answer is A. A is brother of B. So K is brother of B. C is father of A. So C is father of both of them. Obviously, there is no point about it. Then comes D is brother of E. So and E is the daughter of B. So E is the daughter of B and E has a brother B. So who is the uncle of uh, D? Then uncle of D is A. So answer is A. Very very simple. Just draw a family tree. Ram scored more than Rani. Okay. So Ram is more than Rani. Since we are looking for highest, anyone who is scoring less should be gone. Rani scored less than Ratna. So Rani should be kicked out. Now Ratna or Ram. Ratna has scored more than Ram, so Ram is also gone. Padma has scored more than Ram, but less than Ratna. So answer is Ratna. Just kick out as many as you can when it comes to highest. Now decision making questions. So the only criteria is already I have told you. Be clear in your thought. Be honest. Be integral. And be practical. If you follow this approach and always give your answers in writing. So this is the only thing which is required to get such questions correct. Now you have difference of the opinion regarding the final report prepared by your subordinate that is to be submitted urgently. Okay. The subordinate is justifying the information given in the report. You would convince the subordinate since it's an urgent matter. So that is the keyword. Convince the subordinate that is wrong. Yes, you can do it. Tell him to reconsider the results. It will take a lot of time. Revise the report on your own. Yes, you can do it because he is your subordinate. Tell him not to justify the mistake. This is also wrong. So answer is A or C. You are competing with your batchmate for the prestigious award. You have been asked by the committee to finish on time. Your friend is allowed more than the stipulated time. You can lodge a complaint to chairperson against the discrimination. Yes, this is the perfect answer. So answer is A. Not listen to any justification. This is wrong. Ask for withdrawal of your name. This is also wrong. This is cowardly sign. You can protest and leave the place. This is also acceptable. But answer A is better than D. You are handling a time bound project. During the project review meeting, you find that project is likely to get delayed due to lack of cooperation of the team members. You would warn the team members for their non-cooperation. Yes, you can do it. Look into the reasons for non-cooperation. This is also a good answer. So answer can be A or B. Ask for the replacement. So this is wrong because it's not guaranteed that the next team members will cooperate because it's already a time bound project. Ask for extension. So this is also wrong because it's a time bound project. You are a chairperson of a state sports committee. You have received a complaint and it was found athlete in junior age category has won a medal across the age criteria by five days. You would ask the screening committee for a clarification. Obviously, they have screened it so they know the best answer is A. Ask the athlete to return the medal. No, without any inquiry or without being heard, you cannot ask to do that. Ask the athlete to give it an affidavit from the court declaring the age. This is also a very redundant kind of method. Ask the members of the committee for their views. Yeah, so they are expert. They know it better. So answer is A or D. You are handling a priority project and have been meeting all the deadlines and planning your leave during the project. Okay. Your immediate boss does not grant citing the urgency of the project. You would proceed on leave without waiting for sanction. This is a very, very unprofessional behavior. Pretend to be sick and take leave. This is extremely dishonesty. So answer is C or D. Approach higher authority to reconsider the leave application. Yes, you can do it. Tell the boss that it is not justified. This is also good. So answer is C or D. You are involved in setting up a water supply project in remote area. Full recovery is impossible. The income levels in the area are low. 25% is BPL. So whenever it comes to BPL or those people who cannot afford, so always the criteria is differential pricing. So both should not be treated equally according to article 14. Like should be treated likely and unlike should be treated unlikely. So the supply of water be free of charge in all respects. So you are treating all of them equally. So this is wrong. Recommend that the users pay a one time fixed sum for installation of tap. See, this is not possible for BPL family. So this is also wrong. Recommended that the fixed monthly charges be levied on the non BPL and for BPL families water should be free. This can be done because it is differential pricing. Recommended that the users pay a charge based on the consumption of water with differentiated charges for non BPL and BPL. So answer can be C or D. As a citizen, you have some work with the government department. The official calls you again and again and without directly asking you, sends out feelers for a bribe. You want to get your work done. You would give a bribe. So this is corruption. Not at all accepted. Behave as if you have not understood the feelers and persist with your application. So this is also a very good option. 
go to the higher officer for help verbally complaining about failures yeah this is also a good option send in a formal complaint see he has nothing done anything which is wrong per se which you can do in a formal method if you would have asked you in oral or in written form then you can lodge a formal complaint otherwise there is no point so answer is either b or c so i hope you learned something from this video if you have any query you can ping me at my facebook page and you can also comment in the comment section below i would really appreciate if you come out with your queries because that motivates me and spread the word as much as you can do tweet to me do like share and subscribe thank you for watching the video have an awesome day guys